wake up in the morning at six o'clock They say there may be rain but the sun is hot I wish I had some time just to kill today And I wish I had a dime for every bill I got to pay Some days you lose, you win And the water's as hot as the time's you're in So I jump back in where I learn to swim Try to keep my head above it the best I can That's why, here I am Waiting for this storm to pass me by Pass me by, that's the sound of sunshine coming down, coming down. That's the sound of sunshine coming down, 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 down. Hey, hey, hey. Uh-huh, so my friend Bobby, he said, what's up, man? You got a little work for 20 to lend. I opened up my hand, he said, I'm glad to see. They can take away my job, but not my friends, you see. And here I am, waiting for this storm to pass me by. Pass me by, that's the sound of sunshine coming down. Coming down, that's the sound. Of sunshine coming down. Yo, yo, here we go. I wanna go where the summer never ends. With my guitar on the beach, there with all my friends. The sun's so hot and the waves in motion. And everything smells like suntan lotion. The ocean and the girls so sweet. So kick off your shoes and relax your feet. They say that miracles are never ceasing. Every single soul needs a little releasing. Stereo bumping till the sun goes down. I only want to hear that sound. That's the sound of sunshine coming down. Coming down. That's the sound of sunshine coming down. Go ahead, Jay. Talk with me now. Woo. Sound of sunshine coming down, coming down. That's the sound of sunshine coming down, down, down. Hey, 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 hey. I love Brazil. First time I came to Brazil was about four years ago. And um, we were putting together this concert, this Power to the Peaceful concert. So in the daytime, I was like going in the favela and hanging out with Afro Hege and going to Casa de Zizinho here in, in, uh, in uh, Sao Paulo. And then at night, I was working with like the sponsors of the event, with all these like rich business people. So it was like, an entry into uh, this land of beautiful extremes. That's what Brazil is to me. It's like you have incredible wealth and incredible poverty. You have like this concrete jungle of this city of Sao Paulo, and then it's surrounded by the real jungle. <laughs> and you have the most beautiful nature in the world here, but you also have some of the worst deforestation. And I really think that Brazil is like a is a has a great opportunity to be a, a beacon of hope for the rest of the planet because the things that you face here, how do you create energy for all these people and still not destroy all of the nature is the question that all of everybody in the world is facing today. And so as the Olympics come and as the World Cup comes, Brazil is like is a, a symbol of hope for the rest of the planet and we're all we're all watching so i'm happy to be here and be in this time in history it's a good time to be here also i love the music and the caipirinhas <laughs> and my friend marina <laughs> 
I think as a, uh, my activism is about being uh, not idealistic. I want to be realistic. So you have all these energy needs for these millions of people in this country. You have to provide jobs for, for the millions of people in this country. You have to supply, you know, create education and opportunities for millions of people here. And then at the same time, we have to try to protect the planet. And so uh, there has to be solutions that consider not just this generation, but consider the seven generations to come. So we can't just say, oh, we're going to cut down this tree, or we're going to dam this river, or we're going to dig this mine here, or do something there. We have to think, what are the long-term effects of each step that we take? And uh, so in order to solve these needs, we need the best of science. We need the wisdom of indigenous people. We need the resources of the corporate world. We need the cooperation of governments. And we need to vote every day with the money that we spend. Um, and finally, we need uh, music to be a communicator of these, these ideals, you know, of environmentalism, of nature, um, to be, uh, to make uh, uh, sustainability sexy. Well, when I first started in music, I had, um, I, uh, wrote a lot of political poetry, you know, and I started just performing it at like protests and different rallies and stuff. And then I wanted to combine it with music. So I hooked up with some drummers and we didn't have any instruments. We just went out to a shipyard where there was all this metal. We'd play on the metal and then do our poetry on top of it. And then uh, I formed a group called the Beatniks in 1987. And then uh, Disposable Heroes of Hypocrisy in 1991. And we had this song called Television, The Drug of the Nation, which got picked up by U2 to open their Zoo TV tour. And so U2 asked us to come out on tour with them. We were just in this little van driving behind this giant tour. And um, after the first week, I didn't know very much about U2 at the time. And at the, after the first week, Bono comes up to me and he goes, Michael, I have, Michael, I have something to talk to you about. <laughs> I, said, I said, what? He said, you know, my guitar player. I said, yeah. And he goes, well, his, his name is The Edge, not Ed. <laughs> so the whole first week I was like, Ed, nice guitar solo. Ed, I like those shoes. Yo, Ed, what's up? <laughs> so, so then after Disposable Heroes and that, we started Spearhead. I started... Uh, playing guitar and playing music on the street for people and just seeing the way that music affects the heart. And so it doesn't just have to be about political things. And now today my music is I want people to feel significant. That's my goal. Because when people feel significant, they want to give. They want to share. They're accepting of other cultures, of other nations, of other sexuality, other, other ideas. When people don't feel significant, they close off and they don't want to give. They become greedy and they become hateful of other people and fearing of, of other people and may even strap a bomb on their body and walk into a supermarket. And so uh, in songs, when you, when you talk about problems and you talk about issues that are hard for people in the, in the lyrics and then in somewhere in the chorus, show them the light, show them the opportunity, show them the hope that that possibly things could be different, then people feel significant. And that's, that's what my music is about. I, I started playing music in countries where people couldn't afford to wear shoes. And so I would take off my shoes and play football with kids or whatever. And, and my feet would just get torn apart. So I decided to go home and go for three days barefoot. And after three days, I decided to go a week and then a month and a year. And now it's been, 11 years of being barefoot, so.